One of the most common tasks people do in Salesforce is sending documents. This could be quotes, invoices, contracts, and more. Unfortunately, Salesforce doesn't support custom document merging out of the box. Thankfully, we can use Conga Composer to merge our Salesforce data into any document we would like. Conga uses known tools like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint as the base for a template and uses merge fields to populate our Salesforce data. Today, I want to walk you through how to send quotes like this using Conga Composer. Before we get started, we need to perform a few tasks to get the base package configured. We can install it from the app exchange like usual. Then from here, we will need to configure the connected app to allow our Salesforce instance to communicate with Conga's servers. We can do so by going to setup, searching for manage connected apps, clicking on the Conga Composer app, scrolling to the permission set section and adding the composer user permission set. We'll also want to assign this to any user that's going to run Conga. One last thing we can do to streamline setup is add the Conga URLs to a remote site settings. We can do this by going to the Conga Solutions Settings tab and pressing Add Site for the four URLs. And since we are going to send quotes, we need to ensure the quote object is enabled. We can do this by going to Quote Settings and Setup and pressing Enable Quotes. To start off building this quoting template, we need a Conga solution. This will hold all the related data for creating the quote. We can start by going to the Conga Solutions tab and creating a new record. We can give the record a name and select the quote as our base object. From here, we can create an action to run on our quote page by creating the button, then adding to the page layout. Now that we have a way of running the solution, let's go to a test record and press Create Quote. You can see the Conga interface, but we are still missing a template. We can get the necessary merge field names to build our template by going to Tools and Settings and pressing View Data. This will download a spreadsheet of all the merge field names and associated data. We can switch sheets to see data from additional sources and queries. To get started with the actual template, Conga has a few starter templates on their website. We are going to convert the invoice template to suit our needs for quoting. We will take this Word document and turn it into a dynamic quote that will include our customer information as well as the data from our quote line items. Let's start by changing the references from invoice to quote. Next, let's remove additional data we won't need for our quote. We can also delete Conga's explanation page of the template. Now, let's tackle the merge fields. We can see the merge field format as follows. This is broken down where the first part of the formula is the object name and the second part is the API field name. We can reference our view data spreadsheet to find and insert the appropriate field names. Unfortunately, for dates and numbers, the raw data is not in a presentable format. We can format dates using the backslash at inside the merge field. Then we can append the date format to get the America date formatting. We can also use the today value to get the current date. And we can use backslash pound to format numbers, where the currency keyword uses the default currency from the Salesforce org, and the number represents the amount of decimals we are looking to show. Also, we can add a logo to brand our form. Once this is in a good place, we can run the solution using a local template. To do so, run the solution, then go to local template and select our template to run. Here, you can also choose the output to be a Word document or a PDF. Inside the PDF, we can see the merged data. This is a good start, but we still need to add additional data to make a complete quote. The first thing we want to do is show the customer's address. We can use the standard address fields on the quote to format the data as needed. To add an additional note based on the customer level, we can use conditional logic to display this note. There are two ways of performing this, if statements in the Conga document and Salesforce formula fields. If you can spare the formula fields, it is highly recommended to go down this route. If statements in Conga are very difficult to get right, and Conga support will not assist with complex if statements. In contrast, we can use standard Salesforce logic for getting the data we need, which streamlines our process. To create the field, we can make a standard formula field and choose the text output, then add the logic to output the necessary data. From here, this field is now treated like a normal merge field, so add this to the document as usual. To add line items to our template, we can use the data from the quote line items dataset. 
To access this data inside the template, we can use the table start and table end format where the data set is the repeating data. Then add the fields inside the data set like so. And while we can sum the line items through Conga's merge function, I prefer to do as little math as possible through Conga for continuity. Now we can upload the template and run to see the final product. And if we needed additional data from our quote line items, say a custom field from the price book entry, we can rebuild this data set using Conga queries. To do so, we can go to the Conga query tab, create a new record, use the Conga query builder, select the quote line item object, select the necessary fields. We can even select fields from parent records by traversing relationships. From here, we can select the field that we are looking to filter off of, in this case, quote ID. Now we can pass in a sample record ID to see the related data, which will open in a new tab. Once the record is saved, we can see the entire SQL query. To add this to our solution, we can press add query data on our solution, select the query we just made and give it a nice alias, and press the add conga query to solution record. Now when we return to our solution and update our button, we can see the new query data as its own sheet. Additionally, we can upload our template to Salesforce so all users can create quotes without the local file. We can do so by going to the Conga Templates tab, creating a new record, ensuring that a template group is set, and uploading the template file. Now that the template is in Salesforce, we can return to the solution and press Add Templates. Then we can select the template we just created, add the template to the solution, and go back and update the button. Now when we press Create Quote on the Quote object, we can see the template is pre-selected for every user. With the template complete, it's time to customize the solution with parameters. Parameters allow us to streamline the end user experience by doing things like logging an activity, naming the output file, restricting the output as a PDF. To add these parameters to your solution, we can use the add parameter button on the solution. Each parameter consists of a name value pair. We can get these pairs when we read the friendly manual. To log an activity, we will use the AC0 parameter with a value of one. The output file name will use the OFN parameter with the formula for our name format. And we can default the output as a PDF with default PDF. Also, we can future-proof our implementation by using the template group that we used when first creating the template. Once the button has been updated, we can run and see our results. Now that we are happy with the merged document, we can continue to automate the process. One of these ways is to send an email to the contact. We can use Composer's built-in features parameters, to accomplish this. First, let's create the body of the email we are going to send. We can do so using a Conga email template. Inside this template, we can specify a subject and include merge fields as needed. We can also edit the body using the advanced editor. Now, when we go back to the solution, we can add the email template to the solution. Additionally, to target the contact name on the quote, we can pass in the contact ID to the email to ID parameter. I used a custom field referencing the standard field since there were difficulties using the standard field in the button. Now, when we update the button, we can run from the quote and see that the default option is email. When we press merge an email, we can see the email template is populated with data from our merge fields. And once we send, the email is also contained the merge quote. And that's everything you need to get started with Conga Composer.